Hello and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's post-match pint, the only West Ham United post-match football show on the internet. I'm back for my holidays. Are you all happy to see me back? I, I some guess. are, some ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say them words. <laughs> <laughs> no You'll have a job. I don't touch me. It looks yeah, sad. Look. Yeah. Um, we've obviously, <laughs> I say just come back, it was yesterday because we filmed this because it was a long trip home. Come back from the Blackburn game, FA Cup, through to the quarterfinals. Blackburn, is it Blackburn 1? West Ham, five. 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 Is this the smashing we've been waiting for all year? Because it's been coming. You well, Scott has predicted it all year. Scott has predicted it all year. I've said it once, I've been saying it all year. Oh, before we go on, Scott, I'd just like to make an apology for <laughs> a comment that I made. One of our subscribers, Edward Clark, was a bit upset that I called you a wanker. So, Scott, I'm very sorry, mate. So I'll get out. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't do it again, you cunt. Anyway, um, starting lineup. Go through the starting lineup. Come on. Go Got to beat that out. Beep. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> starting lineup. Come on. Come, Scott. It's your domain. Close to going to shit since I've been away. Come on, what's going on? Yeah, Randolph Kane and Golf Rajan. Yeah. He's a cup keeper, isn't he? He's a cup keeper. Well, let's see if that happens if we get to the final. To be honest, he's yeah. come out and said, did not he? We get, even if we get to the final, we stick it with him. Not a chance. I, I remember. Um, Wenger saying that about the, the, yeah, the kids yeah. kids team that got to the semis got through to the final and then all of a sudden the Van Persies and the uh, 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 Gilberto Silvers yeah, yeah. and all that come out in the midfield not a chance is our number one keeper we're going to sit on the bench in an FA Cup final not you know, a chance to be honest knowing what Adrian seeing how Adrian is yeah. right, he's the first one when you know, Randolph does something right to praise him. Mm. He's the first one to go up to him. Yeah, in the third and fourth round, Scott. You wait till Randolph wakes up with like, oh, I've had a dodgy lasagna, <laughs> and Ad Adrian's got a chef's hat on. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> he ain't done nothing wrong. So he's got a good shout. Oh, do you know what? He's a very, very good goalkeeper. Oh, he's, mm. he is. Do you know what? I, I'm so, like, there's a couple of people this season that I'm. I've got a sort of old man's up and go like, I'm eating humble pie here because I remember sitting here against Lushen Towns thinking, fucking oh, hell, what, have we, what have we got there? <laughs> yeah. What have we got? Uh, let's get Rob you, Green back. Yeah, yeah, you and millions of other West Ham fans, but. Yeah, he's he's proved his worth, and we've said that. But mm. you got to start your best goalkeeper if you get if we do that, get to a cup yeah, final. Let's, let's just talk about the fifth round first. I, I hope he does, but in my mind, you start your best eleven. You know, going back to starting lineup, Creswell's. So if you want to start your best eleven, why would you start? Why would you hoping that Randolph goes? No, in goal? that's what I'm saying. That's what I would do. But I'd like to see him carry on in goal. I know what you're saying. I don't. I don't. Yeah, he's saying, like, he's yeah. Yeah, he hasn't he's done the, right, the yeah. thing wrong. No, exactly. I, I like the fact that he's getting the chances in the cup. It's not going to keep him out, but he wants to play for Ireland um, in the World Cup. Euros. Euros, Euros. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, in the Euros. The Super Bowl. Yeah. So maybe that's sort of an agreement. Maybe he was sort of saying to Slav in January, come on, like, I've got to play because and I want to play yeah. the Euros. And, you know, he's a very good goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure that maybe not so much established Premier League teams when they but teams that come up into the league this year like you know the likes of Hull and anyone would be looking at him and say yeah it'd, it'd be good enough for our number one oh, so I think it would definitely, definitely but yeah anyway starting line <laughs> yeah so Creswell only fit left back mm. Collins and Bonner only fit centre halves with experience mm. Antonio slotting in at right back which I said in the preview you know sort of knew it was going to happen no um, choice is there mm. no. they say wanted to get me to get me boots that's on. It, you know, <laughs> it, that was that midfield Obiang, Noble, Kiate, Kiate coming back. It's good to Kuyate. see. Kuyate coming back. Um, Moses coming in. For Antonio. Yeah, we'll just slot it back. Payet, obviously, and then Emanike making his first start up top. What? Which. You know, it's probably quite well, really. It was a, it's a good, it's a decent team. It's probably the best team we've got available, um, which, apart from Adrian, of course. But um, it was be it, the performance from Antonio playing right back. I thought was massive. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. But what I'm saying is, is it's probably our best eleven. Which, you know, when you see what's happened to Man City yesterday, yeah. um, and. You know the Leicester and Tottenham game in a mm. previous round. You know it's sort of like showing you. You know what? We're in for it. We're in for this cup. So yeah. I'm very happy with that. Very, very pleased oh, with yeah, that. That's it. And I'm that was the strongest side we could put out. Really. Yeah. You know, there was no 
Yeah, it mm. was. You know, like Lanzini wasn't fit enough to start, so and I think that would have been too much of a risk to start him, yeah. asking him to play straight mm. away. So it was. It was good. It's good. It is good. It goes. It shows the depth that we've got. That we've got this many injuries, mm. and the utility of some of the players in the squad. Mm. So you know, I still think it'd be a decent lineup for a Premier League game. Yeah, of course it would. Probably yeah. not going to be far off what's going to start against Sunderland. No, to be honest. no, no, definitely. But um, obviously, let's talk about the start. Um, wasn't the greatest. They come in with a lot of. Uh, I thought they approached the game with a lot of physicality. That they, they're going to. Yeah, 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 they're going to do that because they want to get amongst them. Yeah, typical championship team. Typical mm. championship team. That's the only mm. way they felt they're going to beat it. But I said to him, and I said to him, since they started, I said, no matter what happens in this first 15, 20 minutes. Unless they go four new up, <coughs> there's no way they're going to keep this up for the rest of the game. No. Mm. And then, <laughs> obviously, they score their goal, which was oh, such a I soft goal. Now, nah, do you know goal. what? You got to look at that. I mean, as as much as we're going to praise Payet today, it was his fault for mm. that goal. Yeah, he it turned is. his back on. <coughs> yeah, yep. 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 he pulled out of that challenge. And don't get me wrong, for me, Randolph should be saving that. No, no. He when, come when, through. A couple of players. When, when you see it on the replays, right? When you see his starting position, he's looking round three defenders to see where that ball's mm. coming. But it hasn't shot in, has it? It's oh, no, tripled no. in. Yeah, but it's, it's just it's just unsighted him. He's too far across. When, when I've watched I think it any back, goalkeeper would try it. Pyatt on that was that was his fault. Do you know what we were saying about Definitely. Valencia a couple of games ago? Yeah, against was it um, Southampton. Yeah, Southampton he, away. If when he it, committed when he to out. the challenge, mm, yeah. you know, and that's with Pyatt. If Pyatt committed to that challenge, that goal don't happen. Yeah. You know, and and that Ben Marshall can hit him from there. He you did know, place it well, to be fair. Yeah, he did place it's a, it. It was a good. Finish. No, when I looked at it, but it was, when I was sitting there in the fucking in the stand, right? I was sitting there and I watched it, and I I looked at them too, and I went, "That is the poxiest goal I've ever seen in my life." Because it looked like <laughs> it looked like it was like a balloon. You know, like a balloon. <laughs> it just, like, it just fucking like bubbling like, along. I, did, I wasn't expect. I thought it'd gone wide, and then it's it nestled wide, in though, the right? corner, and I'm like, mm. "Has that gone in?" Mm. Is that good? I couldn't yeah. believe it because it, but when I look back on it on the TV Randolph was at full stretch to be fair yeah. he was he yeah. was quite well positioned yeah. it was right in the corner mm. so I'm not going to say it was at, it was Randolph's fault initially I did think you know fucking hell Randolph you know what I mean but he was doing his nut but yeah defenders. I saw what he saw Pyatt Turned yeah. his back on it. He, he pulled out the chain. Definitely <laughs> no, is what made me laugh though. Then Blackburn fans next to us were going absolutely mental, and I just laughed at them and thought, "We've got Payet." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do not laugh. We've got Payet, yeah. mate. But it is easy to get carried away. And then, who are you? Who yeah. are you? And all this. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're yeah, under yeah. fourteen yeah. ultras. <laughs> yeah, and, and um, poor little one getting called Jeff with all. Yeah, before we before we go on, I've got to say this: what a poxy turnout. For the for the game, but they they they, they were never gonna. They, that's why they gave us the allocation they gave us. They knew they were no. They had to give us that allocation. Yeah, they? they have to. Yeah, yeah, they have to. The, the rules is like ten percent. And we, we could have sold that. We could have sold another five thousand on top of what we took up there. To be well, honest. there was seven thousand two official West Ham yeah. fans up there. Right, our allocation was sold um, for a Sunday game up at Blackburn. That's on the TV. That's a great. That's a great turnout. Um, Note to Shrewsbury when they turn over Man United tonight. <laughs> just give us the stadium. We fill it out for them. They yeah, can, they well, can have all the ticket money. We'll just fill the stadium. But yeah, but that and there was like was seven thousand two hundred official West Ham fans. I've heard that there was another about two thousand mm. hiding in amongst the home fans, which is not going to surprise me at all. And the and the. Uh, Gate was seventeen thousand yeah. or eighteen thousand. Yeah, yeah, eighteen minutes. It's, it's, so you looked it up, didn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> For a side like Blackburn, I think it's quite poor on them. To be well, especially that they haven't seen like players like that for ages at their stadium. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. And to be fair, the way they're going, they're not going to see players like that unless it no. is in the FA Cup or the League Cup. I mean, what was it? I think they was charging a five or a ticket. Surely that's got to be worth getting that off your arse and walking up the road and going exactly. to see Pyatt. Exactly. It is, of course it is. You know what I mean? That whether you support Blackburn or not, for a five or a game of football nowadays, mm. to go and watch it for a fiver. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can barely get that for an under twenty one game now. No, that's right. I think the under twenty ones cost us three quid, didn't it? Again, <laughs> when so you go there, for two pound extra, you go to watch a Premiership side. Not even the price of a McDonald's. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's not a Premiership game because they're a fucking no, piss poor. A premi- premiership side. Okay, sorry. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, it's you know, we weren't. The thing is, though, we weren't going for long, were we? No, no, nah, nah, that's minutes. it. And it to, to be fair, it kicks us into life, didn't it? Yeah, that goal. Oh, I was never. Is. I was never in. That even when they went one new out, I was never in danger that we weren't going to score. But do you think 
No. That belief <laughs> that you've got that we go 1 0 down early on in the FA Cup. Listen, in, in, when you got Pyatt on the pitch. That's what I'm saying. Did, would you have had that belief last season or the season before? No, because we didn't have Pyatt. That's it. Because we didn't have I a player like shown, Pyatt. That's shown and not only, not only Pyatt, Noble has stepped up his game. We've got Obiang. Czech Kiate runs into the box now. Moses on the pitch. M&EK, I've seen him play, what, 10, 15 minutes of football? But I knew he was going to get chances yesterday. Mm. The back four solid. Ginge, don't just Ginge and Ogbonna, yeah. solid. A couple so of I times, no there was a couple of times, even still, obviously we scored, we scored, Moses scored. <laughs> I think, to be fair, I think even Moses was, was surprised at winning. It, it, just, it, just, well. but it just done well. <laughs> 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 this is what I said too, he just run it, right? We was trying all this trickery football and they was like getting up, up into the, all of a sudden he picks up the ball, he starts running, and it's like the Red Sea. Well, he's organic, it? Yeah. It's so it? a lot. Of, a lot of defenders do that when Moses runs. You look at his goal at City. Back off, it was carbon copy. Well, I know it was in the other corner, yeah. but it was similar, wasn't it? The Moses when he run, when he's running at yard, and he can hit a ball. Mm. And was, yeah, the goalkeeper should have saved it, but he didn't. He say, didn't. Even when it was one, when we went one nil down, it, it went. 4-1 we're going to win mm. this 4-1 yeah. and to, to be fair I think they were trying to be physical in my mind they got to be yeah but in my they mind they were lucky that they weren't down to 10 men after 10 minutes mm. because one of their centre midfielders should have walked yeah. he, he had two bookable offences in the first 10 minutes and the referee didn't give him yeah but sometimes the referee anyone. probably looked at that and thought right it's a championship team against a premiership team they're, bu- they're over excited I mean the f- a foul's a foul yeah. booking. Yeah, I know, booking. I know the foul's a foul and booking, booking, but... And one of them, we were on a break, and it's one of them fouls where you bring the player down, yeah. you know, and that's a booking all day long, and he didn't. I mean, yeah. Maybe it's because it was early in the game. I don't know. He, to be honest, we'll talk about it later, but he, he seemed to be sort of like... It wasn't... Don't get me wrong, I don't think it was a bad ref. I don't think it was a bad ref whatsoever. Mm. No. But he seemed to be sort of leaning towards them to, to sort of give them... An edge mm. sort of thing, yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, give make it competitive because mm. I think by that time when Moses scored and then obviously you know we was on top from then there was never any threat of of anything other than that. Well, when you look at the possession stats, we went from twenty I think twenty percent possession up to like seventy odd. Yeah. In the space of five minutes. Yeah. And that's how the whole. I think in the end we ended with like average of seventy sixty seven percent possession. Yeah. Just goes to show. I thought it would be more than that, if I'm honest. <coughs> yeah. I thought it would be more. I thought it was that second half. Yeah, I thought that, it was like eighty five percent. That was the first half. How it changed. Oh, you know, first okay, twenty yeah. minutes, they had roughly eighty percent of the ball, and then it changed around. Yeah, and then we had sixty. And then the, the thing is, right, goes on. No, no, no chances from them. All of a sudden, we're, we're banging on the door. The goal's coming. We get a free kick <laughs> on the edge of the box. Yeah, and the place was erupting. <laughs> Not like, scored a couple. Couple. <laughs> like it were not even the edge of the box, was it? It was like what six or eight yards good away, luck. wasn't it? Good, yeah. You good could, you out. could, feel and that was the, that was his first booking for the red card. Wasn't yeah, it? That was but the that's the one but that that's the thing. You could feel as soon as we got that free kick. I've never felt anything like yeah. it when we've had a set piece. People were like. Yeah, uh, yeah this, this is it. Yeah, because you, you've got a world class free kick taker on the pitch, and you've also got Creswell yeah. there that as well. And you didn't difference. know what, 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 we all knew he was going to go for it, but. I mean, it's Jesus Christ. I turned around and said to you, didn't I? I said, this is going in. Yeah. I just had a feeling it was going in. The, like, the whole place was buzzing, everyone was singing, where you got? Like we'd already scored. Yeah. And then. He just picks his spot. It's like a penalty. He was he was celebrating before that even at the back yeah, of the net. He, he wasn't it close. He started yeah. running off celebrating because he, he knew it was he going knew. in. Yeah. He knew. He's, <laughs> the, the, the ability of the man to pick his spot and clear that wall and knock it over the bar every single time he takes a free kick but is but frightening. It's like you know where it's going. Yeah. The keeper must have known it was, really, but you can't stop it. And the thing no, is, right? this guy, he can the go either way, can't he? Can go both corners. That he puts into his free kicks is unreal. Listen, if players like Messi, Ronaldo, Ozil, they score that. Ozil could paper, never score that. No, but the papers, the papers go, will go on and the media will go on. Pay to be also. fair though, Scott, I would say the media have been going a bit over this over Payet's goals yesterday. All I've seen yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, it's change. No, but I know, but all I've seen, because now they're starting to take notice. Well, they're going to take notice. In, like, you know, we're in the quarterfinals now. They've got to start taking notice. But that free kick, again, sublime. Not, not, not the quality of that bomber free kick, but anyone that goes in is, is of top class mm. and the, the, it's just the ability of the man the ability of them is it's frightening 
I think to myself, Jesus, man, where, where have you been? Where have you been all my life? Why have I never heard of you about <laughs> you before? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's 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 absolutely mesmerising yeah. what he does. Yeah. When was it in the, the first half? Oh my god. Tell him about that, right, when he done that flick and the tricks yeah. and all that bollocks. I'll get embarrassed for Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> he's going, he's going, I feel about, bad man. for him. I feel bad nah, for him. Is, I feel, it, I did. <laughs> things like that, I've seen it all season, like him doing things on the pitch. And we, were, we ain't really used to that since, what, De Canio when he used to do all that, mm. and Joe Cole in his younger days. And But when you see players flicking over people's heads, like, <laughs> I, 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 I get embarrassed. I do, I feel sorry for him. He was taking it on his chest. Yeah, the defender being physical, it's now one. I think it was one all at the time, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. He shoved him as hard as he could, right? He's lent like that, flick, <laughs> he's come towards him, he's flicked it over the head with his heel, turned, spun another two, yeah. and, and walked off with a point. I thought. Yeah. He, he just got. I feel bad. I, I, I feel <laughs> bad for him because he was like he was trying his. They was trying their absolute hardest, and they couldn't. They couldn't keep up with him. See, some people. I see Neymar do something the other day. Did you see it when he had the two players around him mm. and he flicked it over the head? And a lot of people say it's dis. I don't think that's disrespectful to anyone. If you can do that, if you got the skill, do it. Exactly. Yeah. You got to get out of that situation somehow. Yeah. It don't matter how you do it. And at the end of the day, football's entertainment. Mm. And it's that sort of stuff that entertains the fans. It gets like, off it's not, seat. If you're the defender and it happens to you, you're yeah, but it's also like, them what an arse, but, yeah. Yeah, but it's also them situations that can set up a goal. Exactly. You know, I, I've exactly. seen it's it's just bamboozling people. I've seen people do that, but then I've seen the keys of punt the ball forward and run forward with his arm <laughs> and knock the cunts out with his shoulder. <laughs> so, as you said, you've got to get out of it somehow. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? So oh, I, I, just, I just feel bad for some people because yeah, like the other thing with Piet as well is that there was a moment in the game where Collins has fired the ball into his feet and he's got a geezer up his ass and he just so calmly just flicks the ball out to the right to Antonio mm. and gives Collins the thumbs up for passing yeah. the ball. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you know, and, and you look at you look at players in the past. You drill that in. They've lost the ball. Mm. You know, and everyone's everyone's pointing the finger at Collins. The back. thing, the thi I think, the thing that makes him special as well is he doesn't hide. He makes mistakes. Fucking, he made a mistake for the first goal. There was one part of it when, in the second half, mm. when I think it was 3-1, they was oh, knocking the ball around, the ball, yeah. and he flicked the ball, and it was to no one, and it, it sent the geezer through on goal. Mm. Yeah. Um, but mm. he didn't shirk it. You know, yeah. he still wants the ball. You know, he don't think, right, I've scored a free kick, I've done this. He works hard. As Some people say he don't work hard, but he does work hard. He's getting better. I must yeah. admit, he is getting better. He's learning to do that, you know, the tracking back, the the the, the stuff that I've criticised him for in the past. The stuff that I don't want him doing. But yeah, I was about to say that. I said, if you've got Noble, Obiang and Kiate on the pitch, they should be doing that. You don't want Payet doing all that. You, you want him as a luxury <clears throat> just floating around. Yeah, it's what, it's what, what we've said, what I've said for a while. You know, for me, them three midfielders don't work side to side enough. Mm. Which then means they did yesterday. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yes, he's the first time they've done it. You know, they've got to be working to have a luxury like Payet, and you want him to float about. You know, him and Moses were swapping sides in that first half mm. all the time, and for that to happen, them three midfielders have got to work side to side. Mm. They've got to think right. If he loses the ball now, as much as like you want them to get forward, and they've got to have it in their mind that they've got to get. You know, they've got to cover that space. Mm. You know, that's why sometimes we do get caught out with Cruz. Well, he's, he's on his own. He gets doubled up time and time again. But we have to combat that because we need Payet to be that luxury, to mm. be that player. And His passing yesterday was good as well, wasn't it? Payet, like, he was pinging them cross field first half, wasn't mm. it? So was Ginger. Mode. Yeah, bloody hell, Ginger. Not a few full <laughs> 50 <laughs> passes, didn't it? Noble as well was there. Yeah. To, to be fair, one, uh, the, one of the best passes we had on that pitch yesterday was Obiang. Well, we'll talk about him in a minute. Um, half time comes. We've just knocked the stuffing out of them. Yeah. Mm. You know, it, it, we just passed them off the park in that first half. We wasn't brilliant, but we 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 was good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Second half comes. Once that second half started, it was just they had a couple of half chances, yeah, they, a couple they, of lapses of our they concentration. Sort of, yeah. They come out of the blocks quicker, didn't they? Yeah. They, they had, but they didn't threaten. I you know, didn't think we, no. we we was always in, there was not one moment in that game yeah. even when we was one. I can't even remember having, them having a clear cut chance to be honest. I think they hit one just wide, but mm. I think they hit one straight in. But I, I think the, the red card knocked this knocked the stuffing out of them. 
but you know, I haven't seen it back. It was quite a soft book. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a soft book. I'll yeah. give him that. But it's a booking. I it's think he value. said there was two that he'd already got yeah. in the first ten minutes that he hadn't booked him for. He can't keep on get, letting them get away with it. Like they were literally putting themselves about yeah, yesterday. Like, you know, it's the only way a poor Blackburn. So I didn't recognise. I recognise two people in the old team, if I'm honest. Hmm. Um, Still good, good to see Elliot Ward still playing. And yeah. Elliot Ward, yeah, yeah, Elliot Ward, one of our old boys. Got and a good reception, but man. Yeah, yeah, did get a good, a good reception. Defender. But I didn't recognise a single player. You think about that team, and I looked at him yesterday, and I thought it was like a Sunday league side. It looked like a Sunday league side. Mm. I still think they beat Villa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk, talking about Villa, they lost 3 0 to their under 21s today. That's how poor Aston Villa's first team are. <laughs> they lost 3 0 to their under 21s. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, yeah. isn't it? But no, I mean, <laughs> they just look like a Sunday league side. All of a sudden, we just stepped up the class. Give them a couple of half chances, lapses of concentration. All of a sudden, Sa- Slab must have just said, Make sure you fucking finish this now. And mm. Jesus Christ, it was like a. Like a gear change, on, and that was it. It was like a training exhibition game. Yeah, because they, they was worn down, weren't they, Blackburn? And that's what that's what our I said. players are so fit, in they? Yeah, that's what I said as well to you at the beginning of the game. I said they was never going to be able to keep that up, and it, it, we wore them mm. down once we start. You know, we played good football. They just mm. you know, we're going to pass this. Well, out. we ain't we ain't we ain't, we ain't yeah. mentioned him yet, but Antonio for someone playing right back, he was always oh, up there. Was, His engine was unbelievable yesterday. Up, day, was up and down, he was creating chances. He had he could have scored. To himself, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he played like he played like Jenkinson last year, mm. yeah. bombing forward, getting yeah. forward, you know making what? chances. I think, I think I would, I would keep him there for the rest of the season. But mm. I, and I know <coughs> that, um, I know that he's a goal scoring threat. But I think he can do that from right back, mm. and but, I think we're going to have enough goal scoring threats up there. Without him, I think playing right back is it. I know, but his natural game is he's going to want to get forward. Of he? course, so, yeah, of course. The, the, the thing is, yeah. the thing is, I see what you're saying, right? But playing right back against Black, yeah, I was just about to say that. Completely yeah. different, different to playing, playing right, right back against, against Man United or Chelsea. Or Arsenal, yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying there, but Tomkins but. Yeah, what the fuck is the defender? At the minute, what choice have we got? Oh no, Tompkins that's it, yeah. is out to wait. Got Sam Byram coming back, didn't we? He's cup tied though. He can't play the yeah. cup. Oh games. no, for but, FA but, Cups, but, yeah, but I thought he was on the back like, is, all the time, like league and everything. If Antonio was going to be sitting out week in week out, yeah, and only coming in to cover Byram when he's cup tied, then I'd agree with you. Leave him there for the rest of the season, you know. But he's not. He but he's, be, he's, he's straight back. He's Byram right ready. Yeah. I think, so. he, it, I think he's shown Nobody <coughs> seems to thought he was ready. No, nah, well, he's done alright. The games he's played, I don't think so. he's done yeah, anything. Man City. Not at all. Not, no, I'm, not right he's done, I'm not saying he's done anything. <laughs> <laughs> <right. I'm not laughs> don't, don't think I'm sitting here going like that. Nah. I'm just saying, like, when we bought him, it was a pretense that obviously circumstances have come about that mm. really he's our only fit mm. right back now. I wouldn't want to chuck him in too early. He's a very promising young right back. Um, I think he's going to be a star in the future. Mm. From what I've seen of him too, so far, he's done absolutely zero wrong. Um, but, you know, it only takes going up against Eden Hazard and he give him a bit of a skin in that can make the boy's head drop. You oh, know? yeah, I agree with what you're saying. But the good thing is, is that he's got Antonio on that side with him. Mm. And Antonio is a willing runner. And he will help him out. And he's got Collins talking to him. Mm. And he's got a bonner there. You know, it's not... Talking if Italian. Willich didn't trust him in the position, yeah. he wouldn't. He no, wouldn't it's, not, it's not like he's playing alongside centre half people like Mertesacker who go hide him when mm. a decent centre forward comes up against them, you know, and they hide and then blame it on people. Collins, if Collins make a mistake, he'll take it, you know, he'll take that mm. mistake. Yeah. He ain't going to again pass it on to someone or pass a player on to someone else. He'll, t- he'll, you know, he'll take that player. Mm. And for me, having them type players when Reedy's back, when Tolkien's back, Byram. If he makes a mistake, there's no one there that's going to criticise him. No yeah, one there that's no. going to get on his back. When you know. let's let go going back, <coughs> we'll, we'll carry on with the game. Uh, Emanike, we'll talk a little bit about him in a second. Um, Score two goals, can't complain with that. I didn't think he particularly played well in the first half. He made a lot of runs. He made his first full start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, and I, I said to him, oh, like fucking hell, you know what I mean? He's been living it up in Abu Dhabi too long. <laughs> and um, Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Dhabi don't. don't. 
and <laughs> and you know I thought to myself, but second half, a worn down Blackburn side, he just kept on going and going and going. Got his rewards. Yeah, he's, he's strong, isn't he? He's, he's quite a big bloke. Yeah, he's got, got a bit of pace for the next league yeah. game. But he's, he's he's got skill. He's he's got a bit of pace. He's he can hit a ball as well. He's, he's good, isn't he? Yeah, quick feet as well. He he reminded me a lot of Sacco yesterday. His movement. I know it's, yeah. it's hard to judge because only against Blackburn in his first game, but his movement is a lot like Sacco's. Mm. You know, and he's done enough to warrant a start, even if other players were fit. Got, for me, he's done I'd, I'd to start him start against start Sunderland yeah. without a doubt. Mm. Yeah, you can't <coughs> up against <coughs> Sunderland's back four. They're not the greatest, are they? No. I mean, Sacco could be on the bench, but Sacco ain't going to start, is he? No. No. no, he's been out for. He won't be fit for another month or so, fully fit to start games. But and yeah, I, I'm quite me, quite right. happy with his now, performances. If Carroll was fit, or Valencia was fit, do you think they would have got two goals yesterday? I, I know, think mate. Andy Carroll would have got none, to be honest, because yeah, but his, games are phys- his games are physical. Yeah, the only reason I say this is because his game's a physical game. They was a physical side. He's not going to get much. Valencia, on the other hand, I think he would have got four. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, you can't really say. No, but, uh, you know, for me, I think that he... he you know, he, he done, yeah, enough. he done really well. Took his goals really well. Yeah, um, he's, he's got he's, well, his first goal was a great finish, wasn't it? What one was that? The one when he took it round the keeper. Yeah, no, the second one, wasn't it? That was his second one. No, first one was a tap him. I know. No, yeah, the first one's when he yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 But I mean, we're not. I'm not going to dwell on the goals too much because you know they was. It was just. Fucking bombarding the fucking sure. goals. Weren't the first goal good work by Moses? Yeah. Yeah, the shot blocked. Yeah. Good work by Antonio. Don't forget that. Ball Don't like recover the ball. Ball. Yeah. 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 That. Check your hat had one ruled out. Ruled out. Yeah. Offside. Offside. Yeah. Offside. And then we had another ruled out for offside. And then he had and the then post then, and eight Yeah, with it could have been a with, with it posts and one. keepers made worldy saves and you yeah. know it's, it's all like Noble's had one go across the line mm. Antonio, Antonio had, had a couple go across the yeah, line yeah, look could have been ten you could have had at least two or three players who had that trick yesterday yeah, yeah I think and so it has, yeah. and it's, it's nice to see I know I know it's against Blackburn but it still builds confidence yeah it's still they're still a good team they're still a championship we've been there it's a hard level so as, as we said as I said to these you you Go one 0 down against the championship side last season, season four. You know, oh, big sound when caved in. Yeah. Yeah. If we'd have gone one 0 down yesterday last season, he'd have brought Joey O'Brien on at the back, and he just said, "Right, we'll take a one 0 loss here." Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's just, it's just the difference. It's like the thing that pleased me so much about the performance yesterday, like exhibition stuff. I mean, that goal from Pye at the end was nobody. Would have defended that. Nobody. Someone, the way he spanned that defender was fucking yeah, ridiculous. Someone said mm. like that's the greatest FA Cup goal of all time. No. I don't agree with that. No, no, Giggs's like, was, in the, and you got yeah. to think of the circumstances. Yeah. Giggs's was a semi-final against Arsenal. Yeah. Pyatt's goal was great. Don't get me wrong. If he had done that in the league against Man City, you know what I mean. But it, yeah. it's a tired Blackburn. You know, but he's still, he's still got to take you around four or five players and finish yeah. it. So that's a great goal. Yeah, it, no, it's definitely not the greatest FA Cup goal of all time, but it was a, you know, it's, it's class. It's, 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 his, it's his dribbling and his control. It's the fact that he knows when to shift it far. He knows when to keep it close. Mm. He's he's a frightening player. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. He's, no, he's, he's, a, he's a frightening player. He's got and he's got everything about him. He's got power. That's the thing about him as well. He's strong. Mm. You don't get a lot of players like that. You get a lot of players that have got that sort of skill. But you can fart on them and they'll fall over. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I'm he's so strong. Yeah, I mean, Paolo Di Canio is obviously up there with the greatest players I've seen in my era. But the different, I mean, with Di Canio, he had this big thing. He never turned up for away games and that. But Payet just seems to want to turn up for every single game. And I personally, he's, he's probably the best player I've seen. Most skillfulest player I've seen in a West Ham shirt, without a doubt. I have to agree. I, I love the Canio to bits. Yeah. The Canio is a West Ham legend, and I can't yeah. wait to see him back for Nobody's testimonial. But Payet for me has just got everything. And I think the good yeah, thing about everything. it is, obviously, only time will tell with Payet. Yeah. It's, it, oh yeah. It's, 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 no, 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 one just, one, no, I'm just saying. Only time will tell because how many times have we see um, sort of the likes of Tarat at, at QPR? All the talent in the world, similar similar sort of skill level to Payet, similar can do, can't apply himself because he's sitting there fucking sulking that he ain't playing for 
Man United yeah. rather than QPR. Ironically, it's the sulking is the reason that they ain't playing for people like yeah. Man United and playing for QPR. But do you but know, do you I know, don't feel that with him. Do you know the difference with Payet is that he's at a club where he's loved by the fans, the manager, the chairman, the players. I mean, and what before, more? Though? What more would you want at being a player, being at a club? The main yeah. thing for me is the f- if the fans love you. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. and your teammates is the main thing as well. But you, you <laughs> see Noble on the Fantasy Football Club, and I think it was Merson said, like, what is it, just give the ball to Payet? And Noble was like, yeah. Mm. Because when you've got players like that, you, you have, have to give them the yeah, ball. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because they make things happen. Yep. You know, that's why I mean, have them in the side. That is what, that's what you need. I mean, all teams have got a player like that. Look at Real Madrid. Mm. I mean, Barcelona are sport for choice. They've got Messi, Neymar, and Suarez. But it's the main one is Messi, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know, when you've got when you see his name on a team sheet, it don't matter who you play. Like I'm talking about Payet now. Yeah. You've got a chance against anyone. Yeah. And this is the thing with the FA Cup this year. Two or three years, or, or all the time we've been sporting West Ham, we get to this time now, we're like, oh, I don't want to play them, I don't want to play them. Yeah. All them big clubs now are saying that about us. Yeah, they also, don't want to get us. You look at that draw, right, <clears throat> yesterday, and you're sitting there, and then you just pick a team, realistically, who you're worried about playing. No, I'm not worried about And then there's none of them. No. And, and well, right, put it this way. To be honest with you, I rubbed my hands together when we got Man United. Yeah. When Man United yeah. come out, I was like, happy come. days. And yeah. like, Man United away, and we're yeah. sitting there going, <laughs> happy five days. years ago, we'd well, be going, oh, To be God. honest, you got Shrewsbury as well. We can't disrespect them. No, we can't. Them, do, no, I'm not going to disrespect them, but you've got to expect them yeah. to come through. Man United away, and we're all sitting there thinking, oh, God, happy days. What a relief. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But, but you know? That's, that's, that, that is the difference now with how we're playing. Whether Man United are playing bad or whatever their problems are, you're sitting there thinking, Man United's Man United at the end of the day. Yeah, of course mm. it is. Of course it is. And it's, Just it's, like Liverpool you know, still Liverpool. Yeah. yeah. One dodgy decision or one bad performance, as I said before, when someone asked on the social about, you know, would you take... Would you just concentrate on the FA Cup? You can't. One bad mistake, one dodgy yeah, referee decision, I think you're I've, out. Scott, but I, I, there's I'll no one we disagree fear. with you there, mate. I really, really think we should concentrate on the FA Cup more than the league. We should, obviously, we've got to win our league games. We're not going to go down. I would take now us dropping down to 10 or 12 to win that FA Cup because it doesn't bother me where we finish now. That FA Cup is everything. I get get what you're saying. I won't, but I won't, but I wouldn't sort of concentrate on it because I don't think there's any any fear that we're not going to. No, but it has to be a priority. We can win that cup. We can win it. There's no (sighs) doubt in my mind we can win that cup. Mm. I don't care if we play Arsenal in the semis. I don't care if we play Chelsea in the final or whoever. We can win that cup. Totally agree. We could. I, I've I've got a, 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 I've got a. I've got an absolute feeling, like, and I've been on. A, a, I'm in a group chat with sort of Toffee TV. They're still in it. Eunice from Chelsea, hundred percent Chelsea. They're still in it. Obviously, Robbie from Arsenal fan TV. They're still in it. Right. They're all saying, uh, and and. Um, Jim Daly from Palace Fan TV, I see a tweet from him the other day. Uh, they all say the same thing. It's our cup, it's our year. Like, it's at this stage. And you start to think, it, yeah, of course. But <clears throat> I, I have got this sneaky suspicion that this is written in the stars. And I don't believe in fate and all this, but I'm thinking to myself, it's just, it's just there. Do you Everything's know the, in do place. You know the difference between Everton and Palace? The teams that are left in it, Ars- including Arsenal as well, and West Ham. Our squad depth is better than all them, I believe. I would because disagree on Arsenal, but they've got a lot of injuries. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've got a lot of injuries. We? We've got they a lot of injuries, injuries, and we've got Lanzini to come back, yeah. Sacco to come back. People don't like him, but you've got Andy Carroll to come back. You know what I mean? Mm. You're, you're Valencia. Y- Valencia. You, Reed. You got. Reed. You got. Tompkins. Reed. You got. Um, Reed. <laughs> Reed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're in a cup final. Yep. You got 20 minutes to go. Yep. You chuck on Andy Carroll. Yep. I don't care what team you are. Yep. You're gonna think. You're gonna. Well, didn't didn't that happen? I've done that to Chelsea. Didn't he run John Terry? Yeah, run John Terry. Yeah. Final. Exactly. Didn't that happen in an mm. FA Cup? And final. this is the difference. We've got. We've got different options than what other teams have. Arsenal can chuck on a Walcott and a Chamberlain, but we know what they're about. They ain't got an Andy Carroll. Nope. No, 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 they ain't got, no, a, Val- they ain't got a Valencia. I totally agree with you. The you know, key, they, the key, they ain't got a Moses. For me, the only thing that could mess us up is injuries. It's the only thing that could mess us up. We've this well. We've killed this well. The only thing I, that I, I have got a feeling up. now that this, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. The last of them are coming back. Barring an absolute 
travesty in the last 10 games of the season now, everyone should be more or less fit. Yeah. And I, Do you know what I mean? The way this FA Cup is and the way this season's getting, I can see a West Ham Palace final. Uh, I'd rather have him in the semis. Yeah. <laughs> but I can see that as the final. Yeah, and you I know don't, what? I really don't would, give a monkey's Let's be honest, right? Final is a one off. Let's just talk about the semi finals now, right? If you was to come up against Arsenal at the semi final, would you think we're not going to win today? Nope. No. Of course you wouldn't. Nope. We've got as much we beat them already this season. Yeah. And we've uh, got a chance of beating them at home. I said, I said this as well. I said this as well, right? Who in the, left in the cup? Only Watford have beat us. Yeah. Only Watford have beat us. And we've played most of them away from home. Mm -hmm. And they're big sides, you know? Yep. They're big sides. They're not small sides left in the cup. They're big sides. There's been a lack of shocks this year, which is why my heart was fucking pounding yesterday going to Blackburn. Oh, we're going to be the first one. Jesus Christ, please don't let us be the first well, sort the of thing, victim. When, when, when you look at how this season's gone, the shock result really was Reading knocking out West Brom. Mm. I thought it was mm. Liverpool scoring against us in the league. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, uh, you could say Palace beating Tottenham was a bit of a shock. It's a lot of... But, uh, you know, uh, it, it's not really. I think Palace are a decent side. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, exactly Tottenham beat Twice before, minute, so. and, but for me, that's the only real shot was Reading turning over West Brom. Yeah, but then, then that ain't shot. That, that the way West Brom much, is, that is that it? Much. But uh, yeah, well, I mean, one more incident. In yeah, the there is one more incident in the game. Well, two really. Um, one was Mr. Minor, so I won't, I won't mention that. But Kiate's red card. I mean, <laughs> I think that's going to get rescinded. Yeah. He, when you look at it, you can see he's pulled out the challenge. And the striker is not getting that ball. Right. And go on. And there's no challenge. The guy just runs across yep. the front of him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Trips and secondly, the guy's touch himself. is so poor. Yeah. yeah. The ball goes through to the goalkeeper. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a goal scoring no, opportunity. If his touch had laid that ball in front of his feet, yeah. red card oh, away. And Kiara has got his hands up. He, he knows he's not getting it. I am so. going to be absolutely 100% honest. Right. When I saw it, I said red. In real time, yeah, because it's real last, time. It looks last. It looks last man. It looked yeah. last. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, said penalty as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it, I said two goals <laughs> to Blackburn. <laughs> the thing is, I, I think that whether you're holding your hands up or not, and you're not meaning to do it, you know what you're doing. But right. he did he's touch him. For, he does. He does. He does touch him. He's no, he's, touch him. No, but he, he, he does touch him. But he clips him. He's he run, has, they're running uh, together. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. runs across yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't runs, stop. You can't on. stop yourself. I, I don't totally care agree. whether it's a goal scoring opportunity or what. If you're running and a man runs in front yeah, of yeah. you, you can't stop. I totally agree with that. Right, but Dan they're agrees. sending off. Yeah, they're sending off. Was not much different. I'm not saying it was. Yeah, but that was two yellows, wasn't it? Yeah, a straight yeah. red. Yeah, yeah. But that's he, it, yeah. it wasn't a goal scoring yeah. opportunity. No, no, that's it. Because of the touch, it wasn't a goal scoring But what, what does he get? He gets a one game ban. That's one. one. Yeah, it's yeah. one. Because it's not. But Cause if we, even if we appeal it, it's still him. only one game. Yeah. Oh, why, why, why should we. No, we're, we're appealing it. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Have they changed it back now? Because sometimes when you appeal it and don't get your decision, they. I don't think. I don't think. Every pundit I've seen has said it's not a red card. But then again, it's the FA. Roy Hodgson's probably going to have his final decision on that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but no, West Ham. It's it's um. Yeah, he's gonna get out rescinded. I just can't. I can't see. And I've seen that with fouls and penalties given. Even not even red cards. I can't see what you can do if you're running towards the ball and a geezer cuts his yeah. legs across you. Can't get out of the way. It's like if I run over a geezer on the zebra crossing because he jumps out in front of the car. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. What's yeah. the difference yeah. between that? Put me in prison for murder. Between that, that last last then last week's one when Jamie Vardy, when they give a penalty, he knocked the ball that way, running to the defender. Penalty. Yeah, it was a penalty, but it wasn't, he didn't get a sending off or a booking, did he? No. He might have got booked, I can't remember, but he didn't get sent off. Be fair, it was Arsenal and it was a dodgy ref. Yeah, so, but, you know, <laughs> listen. Enough said about what that. What are you trying to say, Scott? Because nah, in the second I, th I think it's going to get rescinded. Because he's going to get a bit, be a bit big loss, won't he? But then again, yeah. it's, it's, if you don't get it, it's one game, you can. we've got that much quality. We've got Alex Song to come in. That's, that's the thing, when you look at that now. Right. Yeah. yeah, when it's you look like, at that now, you're take like you're saying, oh right, he might be suspended. Who we got to come in? Oh, Alex. A Song. few, a few players, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> no, you have, like, you have, you got Alex Song or Lanzini. Yeah. I, I've got I've got to give uh, uh, what I said we used to bet Obiang in the first half I thought Obiang before he went off was the best player on the pitch yeah, he played really he well, played really well. He he's really a good really player well. he's a good player he's he's getting a, he's getting a few games now isn't he yep. you know and, but and would, he, he would, he, would you start him if everyone was fully fit no probably not but 
I don't know now. But then he's a good See, option to have, isn't he? Yeah, it's, it's, I, this I is what I mean. Done. I would have started song over him. And one, 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 one thing we ain't spoke about yet. One man, and I think he deserves so much credit. is Slav and Billings. Because I sat there yesterday and I watched him for most of the game, and that bloke does not sit down. And do you know what? I love it. I, I absolutely love a manager like that because the last manager we had like that Pardew. was Alan Pardew. Mm -hmm. And you know, and Slav and Billings. <laughs> Listen, I know at the beginning of the season we we didn't do a video saying we didn't want him. No, nah. we just had we just done a video saying that the was, inexperience. It was inexperience, yeah. and I'm it's a, such a pressured I'm season. Scared. We wanted someone with a bit of experience. But listen, I've, I'm sure there's more West Ham fans that weren't happy. With he what. wasn't my first choice, no. but I never I, thought we should have got rid of Sam. But how wrong am I? But then I turned around on and said. <laughs> As long as Billy is here, I'm 110 cent sure. behind him. We'll, yeah, that's it. You know, and since day one, uh, let's talk about the Premier League, not in Europe. Since day one in in the Premier League, we've all got behind him. We've all sung his name. They sing seven and a half thousand singing his mm. name yesterday. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he does not sit down. And and every sub that come on and come off, he cuddled them, he kissed them. Even after the game, he waited at the tunnel. I see a video. He shook every single player's hand going off that pitch, including Blackburn. And yeah. he waited for Payet. Yeah. And and to be honest, right. Payet scores that free kick, runs straight over the yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah, you know, and that goes show. And you saying that, even with a geezer who got sent off, yeah, he, right. he said he, that was all consoling yeah, him. He, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. that's the class of the man. Yeah, you know? he, he is an absolute class act. Yeah, he, ne he never. Never makes like, excuses. Never makes for excuses for any of his down. He always <laughs> says it how it is. And j I'll tell you one one point where I thought, nah, he's a f he's a great man. Was when we beat Southampton. When we was one 0 down at half time, he made two subs. We won two one. He did not take any credit for that win. No. He said no. the players won that game. Yep. Mm. Big Sam, as much as I was a fan of him, would have come out and said, I won that game. Yep. I made the side. My changes, mm. my Yeah, decision. my changes. But Billich does not take no praise. And then when he's when we lose, he takes it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't let his players take it. And that's the difference. And that's why the players respect him. But the thing is, but as that's well, sort of like the difference between um, him and the people like say, even Mourinho in the end. Yeah, Mourinho was clawing it anyway. He was just yeah. playing, blaming press, blaming doctors, yeah, blaming. But to try and to try and knock the thingy off of the. But players. in the end, but it was his fault. It was his fault all the time. But in the end, he was just letting them take it anyway. He was like, yeah, this shit. They're absolute mm. shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Even naming players, right? Yeah, yeah, like but that's because they've all turned. That's because they turned. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think Billich would do that. I don't think so. I don't he's think got, Billich he's, would do that. He's got dignity. He's got grace. He never. I've never heard him talk bad about a referee. Um, I've never heard him turn around and say the well, referee. I see him call the ref a fucking wanker yesterday. Yeah, he did, yeah. I saw <laughs> that call on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No, the but camera I mean, was right on him. He went, <laughs> fucking wanker. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, in a press conference publicly, no, he, no, does not, he does not public turn around and go, I thought, like, you see lots of managers do this. And it's a pressure job, and I can see why they do it. You know what I mean? They're, they're scared for their jobs. You see managers come out and go, that's totally the referee's fault. Yeah. I've mm. never seen him do that. And we've had some terrible ones. Yeah, we well, have. Yeah, We've had some awful referees. Awful referees. Yeah. But, but it, nah, he's just a class act. Class act. I want to keep hold of him as long as we can keep and, hold and, of him. And, and he probably looks at it, he knows he's got two chairmen and Karen Brady behind him. The fans are behind him. The players love him. Play, yeah. What more could you want from a manager? <laughs> exactly. you, you know you sound about Payet going up to him. Did you see him before the game, Payet? Went around every single player on the pitch. Yeah, they, the all game. They, they all do. They all do. They all do. Yeah. They all do it. Same spirit. Collins, just Collins will jog to the strikers, and yeah. they, they, you got Creswell running over to there. And you get you get these things spirits. on Instagram and things like that. Like I was seeing um, saying about Ronaldo on the TV this morning. I didn't really know what was going on, but he was having a press conference. Walked out. Someone's criticised something he's done. Hmm. He missed a penalty, I think, yesterday that had cost Real Madrid. Now. Ronaldo's a great player, but I've never known a more self-obsessed man than in all my life than him. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely obsessed with himself. And he was saying about, you know, um, I don't have to go round to Benzema's house for dinner. I don't have to go round and invite round, bow round for a get round of golf. It, you know, it's not important. It's not important. What is important is what happens on the pitch. I disagree. It is you've got, important. You've got to get on with the people think, you're football. And then what, what you see with West Ham. Is like even stupid things, yeah. Like Adrian doing a selfie, and you've got like Obiang, mm. um, like Song, mm. Sacco, Lanzini, but in the backs, like like Ginge, yeah. And I know you think they're teammates, but like I've known.
football players and footballers, like when, like, the youngsters don't mix with the old ones. No. You know what I mean? The old ones will just go and do what they're doing. If they've turned a selfie, they go fuck off. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like old school and that. And Ging is old school, and they're new school. But they're all together. Mm. They always, always seem yeah, to be together. I think a lot of that's also down to Mark Noble being captain. Yeah, I think he's captain. That. But you know, I also think he's a big part of it. I think Adrian's a big part of it. I think he brings a dressing room together. Yeah. He seems yeah, to be friends yeah. with everybody. everybody. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, not, it's not a change room now where you, the foreigners only sit with each other and the English sit with yeah. each other. You know, like the old days, you, you hear the stories of, mm. of that. But now it's just the whole mix. Like, mm. and like you said, they do put selfies up and Snapchats up. And I see one the other day, you had Sacco around Quixote's house. Yes. And, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and it's, it's good to see. You know, you don't see the facts that you, you go back to like the Rio Coca thing and then you look at Adebayor going to Palace. Mm. You know, Adebayor's walked in there and he's like, take off, or whatever music you add on. No, you're not having it. I'm having my music on. You know, Is that what he said? Yeah. That's what they come out in his first press conference, turned around and said, oh, yeah, I'll take, I'm in control of the music. Yeah. You know, and that, yeah, that goes sometimes back to you the can day. take that as that, in, he's Benta. just doing that yeah. as a bit yeah. of banter. But then, but then you, you go back to when we had a player like Rio Coca, you know, who thought he owned the place. You know, you, you ain't got that now. Yeah. You've got players who... You, you hear it in football all the time. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of egos. Look at um, Eto. Eto, right? Went away with Cameroon. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that they would have paid for the best hotel. I don't know the sort of budget they got. But he went and booked himself in a penthouse suite. Mm. Got away from the team hotel and booked himself and left the rest of them where they was. Yeah. You know? But you, you just don't. Let's, let's like be that. honest. Like, team spirit is so you important. Look at a, you look at a player, let's say, for instance, Alex Song. Not been playing. Mm -hmm. He could easily, easily say, oh, I'm going back to Barcelona. He could, he could moan, I want to move in January. He didn't. Yeah. And you saying about selfies, there was a picture of him and Reese Oxford together at the training ground exactly. the other day. Him and David Gold. Yeah. You know, mm. it's, you've got a player like Alex Song who, who I thought would be a bit arrogant, like, oh, I'm, I'm Alex Song, I'm mm. a Barcelona player. Yeah. It's not like that. No. Mm. Listen, every, every player has the ump if they're not playing. Not one player has come out in the press or or social media or anything said I don't want a beer nope. the that only says one, a lot the only one I got that off is gone they got rid of him Zorati right. yeah. yeah. the only one I got that any sort of like that hint of yeah. they shit and out and Emma Fatano as well yeah mm. the same and, but he didn't even last the fucking pre-season no, but that's, no. that's, that's Billich <laughs> And I think, I think nonsense, like, really. listen, if I don't care, even if Payet turned around, as much as we love him, if he turned around and said, man, I don't want to be here, fuck off, go. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. play for West Ham, I don't care who you are. But you, you, you see with Payet, the video he put out, all right, we know West Ham media and the West Ham had a lot to do with the video he put out with him saying about how the fans are like. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been quality at the end if he'd have done all that emotional speech and then gone, by the rise of the craze on TV. <laughs> 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 but then, but then, yesterday at the end of that game, you know, he went over to the fans. Yeah, you know, yeah. young fan, his shirt. I think you know he was bowing to the fans. I think mm. it is exactly what he says. I think it's a love affair. Yeah. When uh, Tevez has got Tevez is a massive player in Europe, right? Massive, huge. Yeah, one of the biggest names in world football, right? Mm. He came to Poxy West Ham. He didn't know where the fuck he was. Let's be honest, let's be fair about it. He got shoved in, a, in an airplane, then shoved into a, a fucking limousine and turned up at the place. He was, but I was saying yesterday, he never looks like he knows what's going on anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He must have just looked around the place and thought, where the fuck am I? He, he, he got told, right, when he found out about going to West Ham, he got, he, I, was, I don't know whether it was Ardelis or one of the old, Thing, turned around and said, asked them about going to West Ham, and they turned around and said to them, after playing against us, They're you the go there, mm. you play well, Don't you can up. be a legend with the fans. Mm. Yeah, but you that's know. anyone, anyone. But, 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 what our but, fans want but, is players that try. Yeah. When people say the West Ham way, that is the West Ham way. Is, totally you great. want a player that puts on that shirt and gives 110%. 10%. That's all, all you want, want from a player. Yeah. It but, don't matter if the, like, let's be honest, look at Mark Noble, not them skillfulest. We know that. He's got his haters. But his heart, his passion for the club, you can't argue with that. Yeah, you can't argue with that. He got by the Blackburn fans yesterday, Noble. Yeah. yeah. Because he put in a shift yeah. and he's been doing it all season. And this is what I've said. Players, better players around him, he becomes a better player. When would you know Mark Noble two, three years ago to try 40, 50 yard balls and they come off? Mm. Mm. The thing is, I, I, I was thinking a bit about Noble today because I give him a bit of stick. You definitely give him a bit of stick. You don't really. Oh, you, you love him, right? Yeah, of course, I I, I, I but I was that. thinking about like 
there's better players there and all this like as you get games songs there blah 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 obviously you met him in the week as well um, but I was thinking to myself as much as me and you complain mm-hmm. yeah what there's been about five managers at West Ham since he's been there mm-hmm. yeah they've all had him in all their team yep. over some big players since he was about 19 he's been a mainstay in our team there must be something about him. Mm. There must be something about him because that's about four or five managers that have been there. It's been from who gave me his debut? Curbs, Pardew, Pardew, Pardew. 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 Curbs, Zola, Zola, Grant, Grant, Grant. Allardyce, Allardyce. Billet. So six managers he's seen. Right? They've all picked him. He's Zola, always, Zola loved him. He's always been a mainstay in the side. Mm. Now, I'm not a good judge on footballers. I'm not a professional. They're all professionals. There must be something about the kid. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Every, exactly. every, every player that I've seen go on that fantasy football club that have played with Noble have put him in their 1-11 to 11 mm. and have, have rated him so much. Mm. You can't argue with it. And like you said, you're, he's been in the first team for over 10 years now. You, you're not you're not a, a crap player no. if you're in West Ham's yeah. first team for and that long. And, and now he's a captain. And... The stats don't and while we're on him, let's talk about his England chances once again. Um, obviously, it's, it's heated up a little bit from last week. I wasn't here last week, so it's heated up again since then. Because it's got a cracking goal. Will he get a chance for England? No. Not no. while Hodgson's there. No. Hodgson should be ashamed of himself for what, what, what he said on Match of the Day. What did he say? Alan Shearer. Yeah. yeah. He, they was analysing Mark Noble, and Alan Shearer turned around to Hodgson and said, Look, he scored today, he's been playing well this season, will he have an England chance? And the first thing he said, yeah, Danny Drinkwater's been playing Never even well. asked him about he didn't even, Drinkwater. didn't even mention, did he? He went, yeah, Mark's been playing well, Danny Drinkwater's been playing well. You, now you know Danny Drinkwater's getting in the England of squad. He yeah. Of course he is. Who the fuck's like, Danny Drinkwater? Let's for Leicester. Leicester. Don't yeah. get me wrong, he's a good player. Yeah. I, I, I do rate him. I think he used to play for Man United, didn't he? Didn't he come from United? Mm, he was, well, what, to Leicester. It, no, I don't think he did. No, I think he, I, I think sure he did. He was in a championship. No, but I'm sure he come through United's he, he may system. Done. He may but, have done, but he was in the Championship for For him to stuff. disregard Mark Noble like that is an absolute disgrace. I mean, mm. Paul Merson the other day wouldn't name any players, but he said, I can't believe how many England players have got in these squads. They're nowhere near Mark Noble. When he's telling the truth, he won't. Dis- he's an ex-pro, so he yeah. won't disrespect no, pros. No. But we all know who he's talking about. Delph. T- yeah, I said this. I said this a couple of weeks ago. How the hell are both of them in that side and no way? And is Mason in it again? No, no, well, but he's they, got they a chance. chance isn't it? But, but he's been given it was, a chance. Noble was playing well, and then Mason was sitting on the bench for Tottenham. I'm not. And, and he picks Mason over. But it's the same. You know, it's the same. So you're playing running out of time. Of course again. it is. Yeah. <laughs> he's watching it. He's yeah. eating yeah. it. Yeah, so you play for. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is, and that's it's sad. It's so sad that you've got players that are playing week in week. The, the, the pinnacle of this Premier League, yeah, with all the money, like, and you get someone that wants to play for England so badly, and he, he's, he's valid in his, like, he's not, he's not me or you no. wanting to play for England, and he's got no. no chance. You know, he puts in consistent performances more or less week in, week out, right? See, he should at least be given a chance in the squad. Of course he should. Parker. Parker, wipes with West Ham, yeah. never got an England cap. No. As soon as he went to Tottenham, they put him straight in. A, no, I'm not saying that it's 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 a club thing. Yeah, mm. I'm sure it's just psychological. No, it's I think no, I don't. I don't it's, think it's I don't thing. think that it's because club. I think it's a psychological thing from the managers because Hodgson, yeah, in his mind, anyone playing Man United must be better than anyone playing for a. No. Uh, well, that? Lingard. That's, but that's it. Lingard right. got an England call up. They they use the excuses. No, they Didn't use the excuses, for. right? Of well, the Man United players have played in the Champions League. The Arsenal players have played in the Champions League. It don't it don't matter where you play, right? You're a football player. Your team plays a certain way. You pick the players to adapt to that team who play in that team, 
right? The way Ian can play, no ball can slot in that side, very yeah. easy. He slots in that side better than Delph, he slots in that side better than Mason. We're not saying you that know? we're not saying that Noble's gonna go to the Euros, set the world alight and be a star. We're not saying that, but give him boy a chance. Of course he does. That's all we want. Never know. The thing is, you Marcel Carroll, a look, chance, right? never not know. only look at players over the years that haven't been given a chance. Kevin Nolan, not for us, but during his when bowling he was career, Bolton, yeah. he was scoring goals left, right, and centre. But don't get me wrong, he had a, the Gerard the Lampard to deal with skull. But so what? There was no He's scoring goals apart from Lampard and Gerard. There was no better goal scoring midfielder in the country. No. Nope. How many players have suffered? Over the in and had shit England careers because of Gerard and Lampard. Skulls got chucked out on the left. He's better than both of them. Yep. Mm. Joe Cole, yep. wasted out on the left. Yeah. He was our next Gazza, wasted. They just stuck everyone out on the left, didn't because they? Because they want to play the big boys together, Gerard and Lampard, and they never worked they together. Never worked. They how never many, worked together. How many together. years have they played that formation? Yep. It never worked. The England manager picks names, then he picks a formation, uh, then he picks a team. Then he picks a formation. He, he, he looks, he, he wakes, he, when he's writing his squad out, right, he sits there and thinks, right, Joe Hart's my goalkeeper. Right, not so much now, but John Terry was me centre half. Right, now it's Gary Cahill. Yeah, and then he goes, right, when Joe Hart, right, Stephen Gerrard, and then Wayne Rooney. And then he goes, right, well, what, what shall I pick next? Mm. Well, he plays for Man City, he plays for Liverpool, he plays for Arsenal. We'll pick him. Be honest, do you think there's a lot of difference, like Gary Cahill this season? To Tompkins. Gary Cahill's overrated. Yeah, I think Massively. I've always thought he's overrated. overrated. John Terry makes him look good. Yeah. I think Stones is overrated. But I've you look at someone like James Tompkins, never been never, even, not even never, mentioned. Never, and I he's think he's never, had a blinding season. This season, yeah, this season. And there's other defenders as well. I'm not just I'm not just talking about there's other players that play for other clubs that never get a look in and they should be really. The other defenders like I think there's one for Leicester hmm. should be should be mentioned in the England squad. There's other players that play for people like Stoke and you know you but, also look at Ryan uh, Creswell. Creswell played yep. every come up from the championship, played every single game for West Ham last year. Yep. Not even to sniff that. Danny Rose. Yep. I mm. didn't do nothing. He played started three or four games for Tottenham, bang, in the England so squad. Is it, that is it. No, no, no. You know the one that really perplexed me is the time when the, the left backs were getting injured when he yep. picked Shaw. Shaw shit. Yep. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Shaw's young, he's got time, he's got talent, but he's shit. Yep. Totally agree. Um <clears throat> he was getting in the England squad. All of a sudden, he broke his leg, right? So, and there was an England squad coming up. He got chucked out of that. Picked Danny Rose, right? No, he picked Kieran Gibbs first. No, no, Danny Rose first. You sure? Gibbs I was already in. Was he? Yeah. And he hadn't Pick, played a game. Picked Danny well, Rose, and then he got injured. And it was like, and, you, and everyone was sitting there. For, I was, remember sitting in the, I was in the library at the time thinking. He's got to pick Chris. There's no other, no one else he to pick. Picked Bertram, mm. didn't he? And he picked, yeah, no, he picked. I think it was Gibbs. Gibbs. And Gibbs had played like yeah, four I minutes. Think, yeah. Mm. yeah, played of the season. Yeah. And I'm like, come on, boy, boy, boy. boy. It's it's sad. I think it's sad for Noble because a lot of his career has been spent with people that just won't pick him. Mm. And like, I'd be, I, I would have quit. I would have quit. England, I would have just said, look, don't never, ever, ever bother even looking at me. If you if you if you're down to the bare bones, and you've, it's either me or some geezer from number fifty six, Star Lane, that don't you pick the He's geezer. He's a player, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, but you know, I, I'd say don't 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 even insult me. Like, and, and there has been players that have done that, like with um, I don't know if it was Hodgson, but the one before Capello. When like goalkeepers would get injured, and he'd mm. call up a goalkeeper, and then they go, "No, nah, I'm retired now," <laughs> and he'd have yeah. to pick someone else. You know what I mean? And he'd end up with some geezer from League Two. In the we England said it on the, the post match party the other week, but when we were talking about England with Mark Noble, I think he would always put club over country. And if he was offered a chance to win the FA Cup this season with West Ham or the Euros with England, he'd pick the <coughs> FA Cup all day long. Yeah. And to it mean more to him. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know we're saying all this about he should be in the squad and all that. I think, but as well, and I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful to Noble by saying this, right? Teams need workhorses. He's a workhorse. He's not a classy player. He's, he's, he's got class about him, but he's not like going to set the world alight. He's not going to go on. <laughs> I think I finally won you two round. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a classy player. He's not someone who's going to set the world alight. He's not a Payet. He's not even a Kiate. No. But he does a job. 
And I think when you look through history, and that's that's where England have gone wrong. I think that's where England do go wrong is that they fact they pick names and then pick formations around the names, right? And exactly. goes right, he can exactly. fit in there, he can fit in there. You look at Spain when they won like um, the World Cup and the European Championships. They was leaving people like Fabregas out, mm. yeah, and playing people that like matter who at the time was relatively unheard of mm. playing for Valencia where Fabregas was playing for Barcelona and all this. Germany done the same sort of thing, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah, like Goethe and that. Whereas England would have put Fabregas in, mm. put um, obviously they had then Iniesta and, and Chevy at the time, and then put whoever in, leave out Mata, who because he plays for Valencia and yeah. he's not a high profile name and so <laughs> put James Milner <laughs> yeah, but it'd be yeah. Like, uh, 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 yeah we'll stick Javi out on the left yeah. just to fit just them to in, fit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. just like they did with Scalzi you've yeah. got mm. to have which is why Jack's in you know a, a, a natural left winger who's sort of like Matt Jarvis or like Matty Everton or someone in that calibre is going to be a better left winger than Skulls, as, it, as good as Skulls is. T- mm. The easiest way to sum it up with England, right, is that Rooney under 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 three different managers, yeah, we picked our best players, right. And at the time, some of them probably were our best players, yeah. What have we won yeah, with our so-called all. best players, right? Fuck so all. <laughs> we're not at that. One, one of the things that get mad is you. Do the same thing over and over again, picking the, trying to think you you're going to get a that? different result. <laughs> <laughs> right? So for me, <laughs> so for me, you're picking the same players, expecting a different result, doesn't happen. People are going to say we qualify without, through the group without losing the game. Every England team should qualify out of that group because that group was crap. And all them teams we qualify for a, a lot of groups. Yeah. When we went to the World Cup, we qualified for the group. We smashed Croatia five yeah. one. Mm. We, we never lost the, the game. Thing yeah. is with England, I know we're going to do an England thing later on in the summer, but well before the Euros. But with England, if they can get it right and play Rooney right, because I believe Rooney now is that number ten. Yep. Behind yep. Kane and probably Vardy. Yep. England can go a long way in this tournament. Totally Believe me, they've totally got good. talent. Even Demi Alley. But he's, they've he's, got. Um, who uh, else we got? He's, he's a class player. Yeah, Barkley, Alley. Ross Barkley. He gets his quick, but he's a good player. He yeah, can make things exactly. happen. Sterling, Sterling in England shirt is much better. And, and then you've got Sturridge, Welbeck. Yep. We've got some really good players. Right, we'll Walker. Welbeck, no, Welbeck. No, listen, he, he's got a good record for England. Welbeck. He's bang, but bang them in. Walker, Oxley, Chamberlain. You know, you have them two on the bench. And you've got tired defenders. You're bringing on players like Walcott, Knox, like Chamberlain. Mm. You know, and then that's where you. But this is where. Decent old but as I say, this is this is this is, this is this is where this this is where that they sort of fall down. The England managers like Noble should be given a chance. Not particularly in the England team, in England squad, but they will never do that because they pick names and then they pick positions yep. for the names. And they would rather play Rooney out on the left. Look at the World Cup when we was playing Italy. Absolutely got. Was it Italy? It was their first game, was it? Yeah, really first game? Yeah. He's playing out on the left, absolutely ineffective, doing absolutely fuck all. I would rather have had, honestly, I've got to this truth, I'd rather have Matt Jarvis out there. Because Matt Jarvis plays, plays the that. position. Yeah. Do you know and, what I mean? And the thing is, they do that with Vardy now as well. Vardy seems to be Someone's always out, always out on the left. Yeah. You don't have to get him in the side. If you don't think that's your best forward, don't pick him. Don't pick him. Exactly. Pick a fucking left winger. Pick Adam Johnson if you have to, if he's available. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, but do you know what I mean? Like, it, he's going to be. <laughs> we'll cut that bit. Yeah. <laughs> but he's we gonna, don't endorse any of that on this show. No, but I'm just saying, he's yeah. going to be a better player Cause this is natural than position. Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Like, you're not going to put fucking John Terry up front and expect him to do a job, no, are you? That's it. Exactly. Exactly. It, it don't make any sense to me. All this playing fucking strikers out on the left and all. Sturridge gets shoved out on the left a lot. Yep. In for for Rooney, Sturridge is a better goal scorer than Rooney. Rooney's class. I think you should build a team around Rooney. But Rooney, that ain't Rooney's best position. No. Find his best position, then pick players around him that fucking suit his game you rather got, than. You've got to pick your best player. <laughs> Look at who your best player is in that position. Yeah. So West Ham, we play it. Right, you pick your best player, and then you build that team around that player. You put players that are going to give him the ball. You get players that are going to do the work that he don't have to do, and then you put a player in front of him. If it is someone like Rooney playing the number ten, who you know is going to make the runs for him to pick out the player. Mm. 
anyway. Anyway, yeah, we're better you're taking, right the, you're taking the uh, gloss off of our five. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Final. 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 Old Trafford. Old oh, Shrewsbury. Oh, Shrewsbury. Oh, Shrewsbury. Oh, Shrewsbury. Um, I don't know their ground. Shrewsbury ground. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry field. Um, <laughs> yeah, so fifth, sixth, sixth round, is it? Quarter finals. Quarter finals. It sounds better when quarter you say quarter finals. Quarter finals. Quarter finals. Oh, Shrewsbury's ground. <laughs> we'll be back with that one. Yeah, we'll do a special on that one. <laughs> Half hour we'll be a tough one. Show on its own that one. Um, <laughs> you could probably do a, 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 a ground naming show, you. I, I think that would suit you. We thought we'd be around. Reading. Bit of a stat. The Majeski Stadium. <laughs> Built in 1892. Yeah. <laughs> 1892 by a local firm. <laughs> yeah. They built local still in this uh, yeah. <laughs> in the in the girders in that yeah. thing. Yeah, laugh it up, laugh it up. <laughs> <laughs> Stat man. <laughs> yeah, so we'll leave it there. Quarterfinals, finals, very confident. I'm very confident that we're gonna win this cup this year, to be Exciting. honest. But if we don't, we don't. Fuck it. It don't matter. It does matter to me, but it's not the end of the world, but I'm very, 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 very confident. Just it once. Yeah, just once. Yeah, just put it. Can't put there was only one <laughs> team that I was worried about, and they went out yesterday. Tottenham. Tottenham. That was the only team, because mm. they're the only team for me this year that have given us a good hiding and deserved mm. it as well. Mm. But yeah. they're not in it. No. So we'll leave it there. Which was nice. Thanks very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's post-match pint. We'll be back again next week for the Sunderland, Sunderland game. The um, return of Allardyce. The return of Allardyce. Ooh. Yeah, big Sam. We, we should have spoke about that, really, yeah. and rather than spending half an hour on England. <laughs> um, return of Allardyce. <sighs> what do you think? 3-1 West Ham. It's, it's tough, though, isn't it? Because I don't like him. Nah. Do you know what I think it's going to be like? Gritty one, one nil, nil. Or something. It's yeah. Be like it's yeah. going off someone's arse or something. Yeah, I think he's going to defend too too deep, and we're just going to pick him off. Pick him off, Lanzini. Yeah. 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 He's, he's going to be carryweight fit, really. I'm, I'm, I think yeah, I think he'd want to. I think he'd want to have a go Point against him. He's, especially you know, Sunderland and the, the, the I don't know. He might be. He was only out for a week. It was only. A I, I was just saying. We don't know yeah. whether he's fit or not. But mm. well, I'm sure we can watch that on your preview. Yeah, coming up at the end of the week. Plug. Plug your show, Scott. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for joining us. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at West Ham Fan TV, Facebook.com forward slash West Ham Fan TV, on Instagram, West Ham Fan TV, that we never post any pictures on. Ever, ever, ever. But, but follow there. us on there anyway. On there. Um, I'm going to try and get a Snapchat, I think. Snapchat? Yeah. Everyone's sort of using that now. I don't know what people use it for, but we're going to try and get one of them. So try and find us on their West Ham fan TV. Um, you can do it. Yeah, you, you can do it in the week. Snapchat. Yeah. Snapchat. Can I? Bit of Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it. Thanks very much. And we'll finish it in the usual. Uh, what is the usual? I forgot. Try and see if you can. I'm trying to remember. Have a Come in your eyes. <laughs>